In this video, I will give you a quick and easy way to layer garments. In this case, I have a pair of pants, button down shirt and a coat, and I will layer the coat over the shirt. For that purpose, we need to have all of our garments already in the window. And I have them arranged here in the 2D window over the avatar with the shirt, which is the under layer right here. And then in yellow, I have the coat, which is a long coat. So it's going to go over the shirt, obviously the sleeves and a bit over the pants. I wanted to choose something long so you can see how it overlays over the shirt and the pants. Quill makes it quick and easy. The best way to do this is to use the layers, layer zero, layer one. For that purpose, we need to select garment, whatever the garment is going to be on top of everything else. So in the 2D window, I selected all of the pattern pieces. Make sure that everything is nicely organized so you don't select something that is not part of that garment. So we will go to property editor and under simulation properties, take a look where it says layer. Currently it says layer zero. So Clo has everything in layer zero ready for the simulation. When you want to overlay something on top of another garment, we select our garment and we simply change layer to one. That's it. That's all we have to do. Then this will give us an information window warning us that layer settings are applied to patterns. They will be indicated in fluorescent green, which you can see that happening already. And once the garments are draped in the desired order, please change the layer values back to zero. This means that once we simulate, then we will have to change, come back here to property editor, change this layer to zero and Claw will keep them on top of each other or however you layer them. So I'm going to click OK. We're not quite ready to simulate yet, though. We need to position this on top of the shirt and it might be easier to just drag it and position it this way. If you have trouble overlaying it, you can overlay the garments first, then come back to the layers. But I think this will work for us. So let's just take a look, take a closer look and I'm going to rotate a little bit and make sure that the coat is truly on top of everything else. It would just make it easier if we start with something that is already a bit over the garments. Another thing that you can do is you can also grab each individual pattern piece and just overlay it. So what I'm looking at is this line right here. I'm trying to place it on top of the shirt, but not inside, just making it easier for the software. And you can also come and grab each individual pattern piece and just pull it out a little bit. That will make it easier. Make sure you're not pulling out the shirt. I'm pulling out the jacket or the coat pieces and just pulling each one individually outside a little bit. Again, this will give us less problems when we start simulating. Layer one will push the garment outside, but it's always better to make it even easier. In this one, I'm just going to push in a little bit, trying to get as much as I can of that particular pattern piece outside or on the outer edge. I think this is as good as it's going to get. And then this one, see how it's laying outside of the arm. I'm just going to push it forward. And again, you can use the gizmo to just adjust as much as you can. So now I can see, see how it's outside here of the sleeve. This one is maybe a bit too uh, angled. And I think this pattern piece can also come outside a little bit just so it's placed outside of the shirt. And what else is here? So the center back pieces, I think I would like to actually grab those and push them out a little bit too. So this one is out and this one too. Don't pull it too far out because then it has to travel a long distance to get in. But this should be good enough. So I'm going to position this right in front of us so we can see really well how it works. And at this point, maybe 
maybe just this piece here I want to pull out a little bit because I can see that it's inside of the pants I want to make sure that both pieces um, I want to make sure that the coat overlays on top of the shirt and the pants so this is good enough for me maybe I said good enough but maybe this piece here too and I can't see which one that is so I'm gonna go to the 2d window and this one is the side so it's probably this one or this one so that looks good now let's take a look at the 3d window we are ready to simulate whenever you're ready you can click either the simulate right here or the spacebar on your computer I have hit simulate and now it is simulating and it's resolving the issues and you can see how it's pushing and placing everything on top of the pants on top of the shirt there's a little bit of a fight right here about the collar and that we can also it's pushing it out you can see that it's resolving it you can also grab something and just pull it out a little bit if you think that will help I'm going to stop the simulation for a second. I want to inspect the back. Everything here looks good except for the belt. So I want to actually grab the belt and pull it out a little bit. And I'm going to hit simulate again. Now what happened here is when I pulled the belt out, it came out of this loop. So that is not ideal. So I'm going to pull this back up. And here we can use the mesh box to pull particular parts of the pattern and just push it through or I can go back a couple of steps and see so it was outside of the belt loop to begin with so I'm gonna leave it as outside for now and I'll just work on it in a little bit but I just want to make sure that the color is getting resolved you could also grab the color and just pull it up a little bit to make sure that it's laying on top of the garment and I'm gonna click simulate up here left or spacebar again and just see if the color will get resolved so here it's working on the fold this is something that you can also work with the fold tool and just make sure that is arranged properly so this part of the color now looks really good this one is perfect I'm going to stop the simulation again for a second. Take a look. This color got resolved perfectly. This one needs a little bit more work. And again, I can grab it a little bit and just pull. That one is getting resolved too. So the only issue that we have right now is the belt. Again, the belt, we can work on that one individually. And we don't necessarily need the layer zero one for that what we need to do is we can pin it and then push through the belt loop with the mesh box and i'll show you that in another video so let's finish off the layering once you're done make sure that the simulation is off you know it's off when we see this crisscross tool and let's go to the property editor if your top layer garment is not selected we will need to go to the 2d window make sure that that particular garment that is in layer one is all selected with every single pattern piece and then go to the property editor find where it says simulation properties if it's closed all you have to do is open by clicking on this triangle go to layers one click on it type zero and click return and you can see if you don't see it I'll do it again so watch the 3d window I am in property editor simulation properties layer one I will highlight one type zero and now watch the 3d window this neon green will change to the normal color whatever texture you selected so I'm gonna click return or enter and you can see that this came to its normal color and texture now we can close the property editor and we have our layered garments you can see that it's perfectly on top of the shirt the pant we just need to now make sure that this is 
open as you like it and we can um, work on the belt by pinning and then pushing and working with the mesh box. If you like what you saw, please click on the like button, comment if you have any questions and subscribe to this channel for a lot more videos.